Okay, a quick but brilliant tip coming up here. Break back in Anaplan. I've got a um, module open here looking at assumptions for how much is spent uh, on trips that company employees take whilst on business. We make assumptions based on return flights, accommodation per person per night, etc. Et We've got a line that says company entertainment per person per day. So we're making an assumption uh, in Sterling GBP as to how much is spent on company entertainment in these four regions. So £25 in the UK through to £55 travelling anywhere else in the world. When we're planning going forward, let's say those are our assumptions for last year, we need to make some savings this year. So last year we know the total there was coming to 160. We want to decrease that by about 20%. So we're going to bring that down to uh, 128 uh, as a total per day. But we want to maintain this ratio. So we spend least in the UK as compared to rest of the world. At the moment, these are just totals. If I change them, can't actually change them. So you can't break back a total across uh, pre-existing data. But you can, if you go into your blueprint, company entertainment per person per day, if we just scroll along, you'll see you've got a column just uh, coming up towards the end, break back. And you switch that on on a per line item basis. So I'm going to switch that on here for company entertainment. I'm going to toggle back. And then you can see now, if I click away, it's telling me that I've got break back activated there. So like I said, I want to now see the effect of we need to bring that total cost down. So 128. And you'll see I hit return and sure enough, it's brought the cost down in proportion to the data that was entered previously. And I can see what needs to happen on a per region basis to reduce that company total. And that's activating breakback.